And finally tonight, the dramatic rise in production of shale oil and natural gas in the nation's west is now benefiting companies all the way across the country. Brian Sullivan has the story from the city of brotherly love. The American oil and gas boom is not just benefiting Texas and North Dakota. It's also bringing big business to Philadelphia. Really big business, because the men and women of the Ocker Philadelphia shipyard are building that. The Liberty Bay, a huge new tanker set for duty transporting oil up and down the West Coast for a subsidiary of ExxonMobil. Shipyard manager John Bond lays out just how big the ship really is. The actual oil capacity, uh, you're looking at about 126,000 cubic meters. And to put that a little bit more into perspective for maybe people at home would be around 33 million gallons of, uh, of uh, crude oil and um, approximately 780, 790,000 barrels of oil. Ocker Philadelphia is a subsidiary of a Norwegian company, but the rest of the story is mostly homegrown. The Jones Act law requires any ship transporting goods, including oil, within America to be built in America. And much of the steel even comes from American steel mills. Like many industries, shipbuilding fell on hard times during the recession. But the energy boom has helped the Ocker shipyard nearly triple employment in the last two years to more than 1,000 workers. It's a game changer for our industry. The increase in shale oil production in the United States has increased dramatically, and, and ships have played an increasing uh, important role to move that oil to refineries along our nation's uh, coast. And these jobs will last for a while. The shipyard is a contract to build six tankers. The Liberty Bay is the first, and each ship can cost as much as $200 million and take up to a year to build. So while the actual oil and gas being drilled is thousands of miles away, the workers here at the shipyard say the impact is being felt much closer to their home. For Nightly Business Report in Philadelphia, I'm Brian Sullivan.